Yo, what's up guys, it is Bella, welcome back to the Today it is Sheffield Wednesday versus Shrewsbury Town. It seems all but over for the automatic hopes of the Wednesday, obviously. Uh, Ipswich and Plymouth need to lose and draw the last um, two matches, which seems pretty much impossible at this point. But, you know, Wednesday go into this one for pride mainly, going into the playoffs hopefully with some decent form and, um, you know, hopefully we can win the playoffs and um, go up to the championship that way. Um, but yeah, we're coming up against um, a decent Shrewsbury side. You know, for the for the most part of this season, they've been bobbing in around the just outside the playoffs. They've had a pretty uh, hard spell of form. They've played a lot of tricky teams. You know, right up there in the playoffs and the automatic spots recently. Obviously, they lost um, one 0 to Bolton last week. But you know, um, it doesn't take anything away from them. They're still a good side. I think it's going to be probably one of the hardest matches we've had in a while. Um, probably the hardest match we've had possibly since uh, the Barnsley match. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's probably going to be up there. Especially in a away match as well, we seem to struggle away at this at this moment in time. Obviously, we did get that away win at Bristol Rovers last uh, Tuesday. Um, but, you know, um, it was it was a struggle that game. I'll tell you what, it was, a, it was a right struggle. We were holding on for dear life for about 40 minutes. So hopefully we uh, do a bit better today. I'm going to go for... Um, I'm gonna go for a one-one today. Then we're gonna get a, oh, to get get a point from Shrewsbury. I still don't think we're good enough to win. Um, we're just not playing well enough at the moment, and Shrewsbury are quite a decent side. But yeah, let's move on to the lineups for Sheffield Wednesday versus Shrewsbury. Right then, guys, uh, the lineups are as follows. And goal we have got Cameron Dawson. We got a back three of Iorfa, Ihequa, uh, and Palmer. And then we've got our wing back says uh, Johnson and Adam Iron. So Johnson as left wing back, Adam Iron's our right wing back. Uh, Volks, Bannon, and Patterson in the midfield. Maybe Patterson again playing a bit further forward than uh, Volks and Bannon. And then obviously Smith and Gregory up front. Um, so it's, I think it's a very similar team to the game we played last week. I think it's just a heck was coming for Flint and Adam Iron's come in for Brown, I think. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I prefer Adon Iron to Brown, really, because Brown was playing left centre-back. It really wasn't working. Um, I'm guessing Palmer would be playing left centre-back a bit inverted for him, but, I mean, he's fine. He's pretty two-footed anyway. So, yeah, that, that looks like a good team to me. Probably the best you can put out with the, the current team we have. Obviously, we know the um, the, the sad news of uh, George Byers. He'll be out for the rest of the season. Uh, same with Famewo and Wilkes. So, it's a, a few missing there, unfortunately, but... Um, we have got a return um, on the subs. On the subs, we've got Stockdale, Flint, Brown, Backinson, Daddy Bashir, Shipston, and Josh Windass finally makes his return to the side for probably a month, maybe maybe a bit more. Um, I think he was out from the Bolton game. But um, yeah, it's good to see him back. Hopefully he gets a few minutes, maybe the last 20, last 50 in the game. Uh, just to get him back into it. Not too, not too much. And uh, just, you know, ease him back in, warm him up for the playoffs. Um, but yeah, I know I'm, I'm happy to see him back. It's a, it's a nice surprise. Hopefully, you know, uh, we can start, you know, banging some more goals in. You know, he was a real goal threat for us um, at the start of this year. Ever since he's been out, we've been struggling a bit for goals. But yeah, he's back and um, hopefully we can score more in the, in the next coming games. But yeah, let's head over to Montgomery Waters. And uh, hopefully Wednesday can pick up three points. Come on, the arms. Off, not too bad, obviously, the great goal right at the start. Slowed down after the goal, but hopefully, we can just keep up, get another one maybe at this end, and uh, get the three points. Great start, second half. We've got a second goal, Smith again. Take it. Lovely, 3 0. Smith again, it's a hat trick. Come on, lovely little goal again. Beautiful. All time, 3 0. It's actually a really good performance, but Cliff makes his favourite win, so it's over. 
playoffs it is. Keep the form up. We might have a good chance though. Come on, Wednesday. Right then guys, back in from the ground now and yeah, it was a great performance from the lads, 3-0 win. Um, yeah, not much to moan about, uh, the only problem is it was just a, a little bit too late really. Obviously, Ipswich Plymouth won again and uh, they're both up now and it's uh, now it's a bit of a race for the final day to see who's uh, going to win the whole thing. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to be Plymouth, uh, they, they're just, I mean, they're, they've got the point advantage at the moment. so. I reckon they'll probably win it, but yeah, I mean, credit to both teams, they've, they've, they've been really well, giving us um, really good competition up at the top, but yeah, I mean, it was all in our hands, it was it was our fault that we bottled it at the end, but we just got to move on, hope the playoffs can uh, bring us some bring us some luck, and hopefully we can win them, but yeah, I mean, if we win, final day, 96 points, not going up automatically, it's still been a good season nonetheless, obviously the drop-off has been really disappointing, um, but, you know, we still had a really good season and I think if we do go by the playoffs, it, everyone will be very happy with ourselves. But yeah, the, the game was really good. We started off uh, really well, right off the block. Um, Gregory passed it in to uh, Smith and that was just sublime. That was a sensational goal. If you haven't seen it, you got to see it. It's, it's probably the best goal we've scored in a while. It was beautiful. And uh, yeah, starting out second half as well. Start off strong again. Smith gets a, a lovely little headed goal. Um, at this point, uh, it felt like both teams were kind of just uh, slowing it down a bit. I mean, Shrewsbury weren't, I feel like they weren't really in the game at all today. And well, I mean, why would they? They got really no reason to be, they got nothing to play for. And uh, But yeah, and then third goal, third goal was really nice actually. I think it was a great ball from Bannon. Smith was through on and uh, it was just a lovely little finish from him. And um, yeah, it was nothing, nothing too special today, I think. I think all the fans kind of knew that. Um, nothing crazy, no crazy celebrations or anything. But I mean, everyone was just pretty pleased to see a good win today. And I think everyone's just hoping that we can keep up the form and um, go into playoffs with a good mindset. Uh, obviously, Josh Windus came on. That was a that was a big plus. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, the only problem I think was uh, the player, the players at full time just seemed a bit demotivated. And I can I can see why maybe because obviously. Uh, now we are like guaranteed mathematically in the playoffs, um, but yeah, no, something needs to change in that dressing room. Come on, like Darren Moore's got to hype him up a bit, you know, change the mindset. It feels like we're a bit of a bottling club in general. We have been for years, and that's why I feel like we don't usually fare well in the playoffs because you need a good bottle to play in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, one game, one one game could just completely change it. So we need to play, you know, out of our skins for three games in a row. Um, and yeah, no exceptions really. Uh, we just got to play incredibly well. Um, and yeah, I'm just hoping that we can. Uh, but yeah, I've got nothing much else to say, I guess. Again, congrats to Plymouth and Ipswich for, for getting promotion. Hopefully we can join you, do the same and uh, get ourselves up through the playoffs. But yeah, that's been it for me, guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. But that's it for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.